so Philadelphia will get the first possession. Morant scanning the floor. Embiid the screen. And then Morant slams it in. Yeah, that's fire right there. Morant practicing for the dunk contest. I see you, young fella. Back to Giddy. Shoots over Bryant. Giddy, no good. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Here's LeBron. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Pass to Giddy. Out left of the wing. Here's Embiid. And the shot is long. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for New York. He rifled that one in from distance. You know, you can tell this three-point shot is something that Melo has developed over his course of time in the league. Morant with it. Loads it up for Giannis. Embiid with the steal. Outside Anthony. The kick out to LeBron. Embiid with the steal to the paint. Here's Green. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, you have got to be impressed with Josh Giddy's awareness of where his teammates are at all times. There's a screen by Bryant. And Bryant slams it in. Leaping up to the rim. Bryant sees the opening and does not hesitate to attack. Wise beyond his years. Giddy has a great feel for the game and terrific court vision. Well, the other thing you love, Greg, is the size he gives you out of the backcourt. Obviously, he needs to improve his consistency from range, but he's got all the tools you must have if you're going to be an all-star in the NBA. Here's Kobe. And Kobe throws it down. Nice back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help? defensively to me that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball these guys need to be talking to each other now here's green taken away by anthony and here's kobe from the arc and philadelphia grabs the miss here's hardaway and then hardaway with the dunk some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right, GA. Seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. And I tell you, Antetokounmpo's evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. I tell you what, he's showing some real courage going to the reverse in that situation. You know, I, I don't think he knows you're not supposed to do that in traffic. <laughs> I think you can make a strong case that Draymond Green is the best passing four in the league. Unreal court vision. And it's ball penetrating. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. And it goes on Draymond Green. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Bryant in the post. Count that one. Inside the paint, Bryant is just as much trouble. He's practically a sure thing from in close. Now, here's Ball. Five points in the game. Trains it from beyond the arc. 
It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Pass to Carr. Screen by Antetokounmpo. And the dunk by Carr. Now, I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. And the Kumbo inside. Adam. I like the effort Booker gives on defense, especially when he pressures the shooter. The Philadelphia team. And so lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. Philadelphia leads by one. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Philadelphia. A lot of high motor play from them in this one, allowing them to kind of charge through the defense and find good looks. And their assist total, also impressive early, creating with the pass and playing for teammates. Inside, and it's slammed in by Smith. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Watching Morant drive is like watching lightning move across the sky. If you blink, you might miss it. Top of the key, Bryant. Pass to Adams. And that basket's going to count, folks. That's the goaltending call right there. And that's a tough call for the ref to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. New York trails by three. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. And stolen by Giddy. Rejection by Smith. And Adams with the slam. And so here is New York. Here's Iverson. And the rejection by Morant. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Sent back by Sabonis. Iverson outside. He lobs up the alley oop pass. And Bender throws it down. Boy, doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage and just goes to work. Here's Moran. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. In terms of entertainment factor, can any current player top Ja Morant? I mean, we've seen Ja with some vicious in-game throwdown. Hey, Craig, talking about the great Ja Morant, this guy is just flat-out fun to watch. Well, Ja's been known to go off for 50 on any given night, but he also looks for others, dropping some nasty dimes. Moran has an insane combination of athleticism and skill. This guy can do anything. Oh, and he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And New York making a change here. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Assistant. Steven Adams will leave no doubt when he's near the cup. New York trails by five. Iverson right side. Pass to Smith. And he finishes nicely on the way. Smith's got six. 
and they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And here's George. He'll bring it up for New York. Sweet move. And the dunk by Iverson. As good a scorer as he is, we know that Paul George is not a ball stopper. Excellent decision right there. And that's a finish he'll be bragging about for a while. Oh, <laughs> as he should. Very impressive. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. And so it's New York with it. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First Summer of 2014, Doris, Paul George suffering a leg injury playing for the national team. Kevin, I remember that injury like it was yesterday. There were many, including me, who wondered whether Paul George could ever be the same guy. And amazingly, he puts in all the necessary work and I think has come back better. That is a huge credit to his work ethic and his grit. It's Hardaway with the drive. And that one, good. Almost whenever he wants to, Vinny can get to the hoop. He's that good with the rock. For Philadelphia, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. New York trails by three. Iverson outside. Pass to Elijah Wan. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. We've got 113 left in the first half of the game. Hardaway goes in. Carr with the ball. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Personal foul. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. Austin. Philadelphia shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. That's good from Carr. There's a minute left in the first half. Pass to Bender. Outside for George. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. George has got five points now this quarter. Well, the footwork to get into the catch and shoot game, the mechanics of Paul George are special. They get it back. Twenty seven seconds left in the second quarter. Smith up top. Lock at six. New York again turning it over. Ball goes to Philadelphia. Philadelphia leading by three. Pass to Embiid. Another shot. Here's Giannis. The shot comes out. Good D by Elijah Wan. Here's George. And George with the stuff. Well, Paul George has got a tight handle, right? The zig, the zag, and his way through the forest defense. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Philadelphia ahead, leading by a point. Step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Now for an update on Kobe's injury, let's go to Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hi guys, the head athletic trainer from New York gave us some information. He informed me that the knee was bent slightly backwards and is indeed hyperextended, but that there does not appear to be any structural damage. Thank you, David. Appreciate the update. Never like to see any kind of injury, Greg. Yeah, it's one of the toughest parts of the game because you have little to no control over it. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. Oh, he, he 
went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. Oh, and he takes it right at the man who just scored on. That's the way to answer back with an in-your-face stuff. Here's Embiid. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. New York with the ball. They lead by one. Embiid with the steal. Giannis, that's a two-pointer. He misses the wide-open layup. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. And Philadelphia making a change here. In for Philadelphia, Stephen Adams. Now here's Bryant. To the middle. Here's James. And LeBron throws it down. Yeah, LeBron, he's setting the screen, but you can't lose sight of him when he rolls. Here's Young. And Embiid with the block. Ball surveying the defense. And Ball slams it in. Yeah, you can see the impressive vertical of LaMelo. This guy gets to the cup and slams it home. So many electric players in this NBA, Doris. But do you think LaMelo Ball is as exciting as any? He is at the top of the list, but that list is long. Think about a Ja Moran. Think about an Anthony Edwards. The league is in good hands for decades to come. Now here's Young. Good D by Embiid. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offense, but certainly he cannot buy a bucket right now. Oh, man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. And Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. And Philadelphia making a change here. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Adams. And B with the steal. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Five points in the game. And B the screen. A three. And again, New York with the triple. I tell you, the vision is simply special. LaMelo Ball toys with the defense, creates easy opportunities for his teammates. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. Well, sometimes it's about taking it into your own hands. That kind of individual play could spark his group. Drills it from outside. And beats. Got the lead up to nine now for New York. And the stretch five capabilities of Embiid. Just another layer of his game that makes him so dangerous. Now, here's Ball. He's got 12. And the dunk by Embiid. And showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Here's Hardaway. Driving inside. And the basket is good. Hardaway has got four points in the quarter. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressive pick. And how about that? Snuck in off the baseline and then the sensational reverse. How pretty was that? Athletic basketball with a little bit of flair mixed in. Now here's James. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. The strength of LeBron is something that is never going to go away, and it will always allow him to finish Second plays team. like that. So both teams changing it up here. Free throw good, James. Philadelphia trails by 12. Outside Hardaway. Embiid the screen. And Embiid throws it down. 
and far from just a score, Hardaway is also adept at finding his teammate. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Fader on the way. And that one drops. And Beach got 10 points here in the second half. You know, being that wide open sometimes leads to a miss, but that fadeaway was money. And that interior presence of MB, guys that big shouldn't be able to move like that. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. And so it's New York enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. And here's Morant. And the rejection by Embiid. One of the premier shot swatters in the world. The length of Embiid makes it hard to be scored on. A fadeaway, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. And beat inside. Adams wide open. No good on the triple. New York leading by 12. Ball with it. He's picked up by Morant. And beat no good. Morant outside. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Popped up there for Embiid. And the rejection by Embiid. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for New York. First team foul. And guys, how about the unselfishness? And all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot. Also, I just love how hard they've taken the ball to the rack. They've made a point of attacking, and it's led to them getting buckets. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. Now LeBron. Shot clock at six. Out to Smith. Wow, came this close to a four-point boy. He'll head to the line for three free throws. And Smith is known as a streaky shooter, but when he gets high, boy, he is really fun to watch. And he's good on the second. And he can't make it three for three. And so Giannis will bring it up for Philadelphia. 15-point game. From deep three-point range. New York, no good that time either. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And I really marvel at the touch of Antetokounmpo for his size and physique. That's incredible. Here's Embiid. That one is good again. He sits straight from the floor with the basket. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. And Philadelphia calls time here. some time to check in from the sidelines. What you got for us, D.A.? I was able to listen in on what Jamal Mosley was going over with his team. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Right? Okay, David, thanks. Josh, he sinks the three-pointer. 
boy, if this becomes a consistent part of Josh Giddy's game, look out because that three-point shot is going to make him so dangerous. Smith for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Oh, the power on that threw down. And he threw down that 360 like it was no problem. That is just insane skill. Look at the guys on the bench. They're falling all over themselves. Smith on the wing. The three. Not going to go that time. And Philadelphia the other way now. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Giddy. Here's Yacht. Five on the clock. They kick it out to Green. Off target from outside. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. A bit under three and a half minutes of pass here in the fourth. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Such a reflexive shooter. Smith rarely needs any time to get set up and fire. Second person foul. First team foul. Shooting. That one is off. Two shots. Good on the second free throw. You know, he doesn't shrink the lead as much as he should have. That hurts a bit. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. Put that bucket in in no time at all. Smith's got nine points now in the quarter. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreaker. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. In just so many different ways, Moran can hurt you. Tonight, it's been with the story. And now, Philadelphia on the break. Here's Giannis. And the layup's good off the glass. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Morant with a wide-open look. And it's off from three-point range. New York with the ball. They lead by 11. Smith for three. And the three ball is good. Yeah, I think that one closes the door on any comeback hopes. Impressive performance. To me, they just looked a step quicker out there. They certainly look to want it more than their opponent. Not to be outstaged, Morant saying right back at you. Smith with a wide open look. Good. A nice assist from Booker. And New York leads by 14. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. And again, New York with the triple. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. For three, Smith. And again, New York with the triple. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the combo. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking. So no problem for New York as they get the win. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that...